My name is Holly Myers. I'm the owner of All Dogs Canine Care Center in Jefferson City, Tennessee. We're located in East Tennessee. We're an all luxury boarding facility. We're a 24-7 facility. Um, and we meet all of our dogs' needs in our area. We board, we uh, have play camp, we groom, and we train. It was an all-in-one great choice for us. Um, we wanted something different, we wanted something unique, we wanted something that could contain our animals, um, that was luxury to them, um, that was easy cleanup for us. We wanted something that was durable, that we could kind of you know, design inside to fit our needs. Um, and the company was a great opportunity for us to uh, jump on board. They worked with us, uh, with our architect and my contractor, and it was a, a team effort, and they've just done a great job. It was just a great choice, and I love the outside look of the building. It's such a nicer appeal than just your average metal building or an average block building that most dog kennels are built from. I looked at many um, options before I went with Morton. I looked at multiple different companies with different types of buildings, different options, and I chose Morton's because, again, the beauty of their buildings, but also because of, of the service that they provided and what they offered us and, you know, talking with them, and it was just a great choice. Um, hands down, there was not another company that, once I met with Morton's representative, there wasn't another company that I was interested in. When you first enter All Dogs, you enter our lobby. Um, this is where we check in our dogs, check out our dogs, dogs whether they're coming in for boarding, grooming, play camp, training, whatever the case may be. This is where everybody enters. This is also where we have all of our items that we sell, all of our retail items. Um, so this is kind of where everything starts. This is our, our lobby, our hotel lobby is just for dogs. We also have our grooming area, our doggy spa. Um, that's where our dogs are groomed and bathed and everybody looks all clean and nice and smells good and everybody gets a haircut or a trim. Um, it's a beautiful room. It was designed especially for the safety of the dogs and mind. Um, we also have my office um, where I do my office work and daily things, but my dogs are with me. I have four large Weimariners and we built on a doggy door um, for them so they have their own private yard. We have a waiting room for our guests as well, so guests that may be waiting for their dog to be groomed or we're finishing up play camp where the dogs have played and romped and stomped for the day and kind of want to finish up the day, they can hang out in our waiting room uh, for their comfort and just, just to wait for their animal to be finished. Um, and then we have our big playroom. Our playroom is where we also um, do training as well, but our playroom was designed for our play camp that we have daily here and it's where the dogs get to romp and stomp and play with each other. We do it by size and by energy, so the room was designed to be able to hold quite a few dogs at one time, but not too many for the safety of the animals, of course. Um, and we also hold training classes in there, um, so it's a nice place, nice big room, um, where I can meet with guests and trainees and their dogs, and we can go over different types of things, training needs, um, depending on the type of class that we have. And then we have two different types of areas in the back of the building. Um, my building is a mirror image of itself, so one side um, mirrors the other side where we actually have our doggy suites. Um, we have different size suites, we have junior suites, executive suites, and we have presidential suites. All of these suites are an indoor-outdoor suite um, for the animal to board while they're with us. Um, the dogs have their own private inside and we have a doggy door that we control so nobody's stuck in the heat or the cold. Um, it's for the safety of the dogs, but they um, can go outside onto their own private veranda. During nice times of the year, spring, summer, fall, the doors are open so they can come and go as they please. Um, and the dogs, it's a private suite, so the dogs can't see one another side by side. Um, so there's no cage aggression, no cage fighting. It's nice and quiet for them to be able to rest. Whether they've been in play camp for the day or it's their first time boarding, they don't have to worry about another dog bugging them from next door. Um, the junior suites are three by five on the inside, three by eight on the outside. Um, our executive suites are four by five on the inside, four by eight on the outside. And our presidential suite, which is an all-glass suite, um, it uh, comes with the pup cam, and we have pup cam throughout the building where the parents can actually watch their dogs while they're away. They can log on um, and watch their animals. Um, but our presidential suite is six by five on the inside and six by eight on the outside. And then in the center of our building, behind our playroom, we have our play camp area. Um, and they're four by five suites, and they're private suites as well. And these were designed for dogs that are just here for the day. These dogs are generally dropped off on mom or dad's way to work and then picked up in the afternoon after we've played with them and, and worn them out for the day. 
So it's a lot of fun for them and it's easy cleanup. Um, it's nice and private. Even though they don't have the indoor outdoor option like the other boarding suites, these dogs are indoor and outdoor throughout the day um, since they are here to play and they play multiple times throughout the day um, in 45 minute to hour rounds. The acoustical ceilings that we went with were just perfect for our facility. It is a dog kennel. We do have anywhere from 60 to 115, 120 dogs at any given time. So as you can imagine, it would be very loud. But the acoustical ceiling has really helped minimize the sound so it's not inconvenience um, for my staff, uh, for my guests that come through, for, my, um, for the dog owners as they come back with me to the facility. Um, the acoustical ceiling is just marvelous. It's just really kept that, that that sound, that loud barking sound down to a minimal. I have a kitchen in the back um, with a refrigerator and a dishwasher. So we have our laundry that we do back there, our washer and our dryer. We have a bathroom with a shower um, and we have a nice big break room for the girls, for my staff to be able to enjoy themselves and eat lunch together and, and just relax together. And then on the outside of our building, we have play yards that have been designed. Um, so the dogs have a nice, secure place to potty um, and for us to play with them outside as well. And I have a Weimaraner rescue here, which is kind of how all dogs started. Um, and they have their own area as well. I have six kennels designed specifically for Weimaraners that are waiting to find their permanent forever homes. And while they're here, we board them, feed them, train them, bathe them, take good care of them, make sure they're getting plenty of out time, plenty of exercise plenty of socialization and plenty of basic training so that when we do place our Weimaraners in their forever home, they're ready to go. I refer to them as ready-made. Um, and so we, we prepare these dogs for their, for their forever homes and for their needs. It's very safe for them, the way we've designed everything, the way everything's been done. Um, there's no sharp objects, there's nothing for them to be able to be hurt on. Um, it's a metal building, so it works really well for safety purposes with fire, et cetera, with the water. Um, so the dogs are just nice and safe. I feel very secure, and I can lay my head down at night knowing that the 100 dogs that I'm caring for are safe and sound here. Um, the quality of my building is just unbelievable. Um, it has done everything that I expected it to do and more. Um, it just, it really just, it's a nice thing for the community, the look of it, the appeal of it, um, but the inside, the way we designed it and built it, it's just been, it, it couldn't be better. I've, I'm just so very blessed to have had a building built like this for us.